Hi guys, Steve Blankard here again, and I'm out at the range with a couple of carbines to show you today. Um, first off, I have a Remington split breech carbine. Now you've probably seen, if you've watched my channel, you've seen some of my other videos on the split breech, and it's a lot of fun to shoot. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. But the other one I've got here is a Remington Model 1867 Navy carbine. Now I got to come clean with you. This is actually a fake Navy carbine. Uh, it has an original Navy carbine barrel and fore end, but it's been put together with a, just a military number one buttstock in action. And this was done quite commonly. Uh, it's a long story, but a lot of these, these Navy carbines were sold as surplus, taken apart. And uh, in the 1960s, Dixie Gunworks acquired a bunch of these barrels, just the barrels and the fore ends, and they were selling them. Well, people started putting them together and making carbines out of them and then there's some unscrupulous folks who are marking them with the navy and sig stamp on the side of the receiver and trying to pass them off as such and this is one of those now i bought it knowing what it was but it's got a really poor quality stamp on the receiver but regardless it's still a fun shooter now this one is in 50 45 center fire which is essentially a shortened version of the 50 70. And if you ever shot a 50 70 carbine you know it's got a pretty good kick to it and you get, get wearisome after a while 5045 is a much, much nicer cartridge to shoot. Now let's go back to the to the split breech here. The split breech carbine is the great granddaddy of all rolling blocks. This was the, the split breech design first came out, uh, the, the Type 1 came out in 1864 during the Civil War, and it was for a 44 rimfire cartridge. And uh, in 1865, the Ordnance Department said they wanted all carbines in 5650 caliber. So they beefed up the design, made it a little bit larger to take the 5650 cartridge. And that's what this is. This is a Type 2 uh, in 5650. Now this one was delivered, probably this came after the war. It wasn't used in the war, but in the immediate post-war period. But what's interesting is they were building these, these split breech carbines, 1865 and 1866. And at the same time, they were designing what we come to know as the, the classic Remington rolling block action. The Model 1867 Navy carbine was ordered by the Navy in 1866. So these two carbines were built almost side by side. But you can see, you can see the similarity of the two and so many of the, you know, the barrel and the stock and such. But you can see there's a considerable difference in the design of the action in them. And uh, while the, the standard, what we know is a standard Remington rolling block action is very simple, very robust and strong, the split breech is quite a bit more complicated. I'll tell you, it took me a while to figure out how to take this thing apart and inspect everything and clean it. Uh, and it's a completely different action inside, but you can still see the elements of the rolling block. You get the block that rolls and the hammer. And of course, these are known as a split breech because as you can see, the breech block has a split and the hammer hits right down the middle. So, uh, but it's a very good carbine. It shoots really well. It's a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, but you can see how rapidly technology evolved with the standard rolling block we have a solid breech block it's a much more robust robust action it's stronger it's simpler uh, and this became the standard which was made for many many years afterwards so the cartridges they shoot i want to show you these we're going to come up here and give you a close-up of these cartridges here well you can see these well so here is the 5045 which is essentially a shortened 5070, and then the 5650, which is a little bit shorter yet, and this is a rimfire round. Now, I have made my own reloadable rimfire cases from Starline 5650 centerfire cases, and if, if you want to know more about that, there's uh, several videos on my YouTube channel that I go into a lot of detail on how these are converted. The, uh, the 5045 originally held 45 grains of black powder, and mine are loaded with 40 grains because they're solid head cases, and the, the uh, Spencer rounds here, the, the 5650, is loaded with thir about 35 grains of black powder. So it's a little lighter, uh, a little bit lighter load, um, but they both shoot really good. They're a lot of fun, and I just thought it'd be fun to come out and do a little side-by-side -side shooting with them. So let's give it a couple shots here. I'm going to set this up. Now I'll tell you, both these have a pretty uh, heavy typical military trigger pull so uh it's kind of hard to hit hit things offhand but we'll give it a shot so we're going to start with the split breech we'll grab a couple of these out
All right, here's a split breech. I got a couple of plates set up down here. I don't know. See if I can hit them. Got that one. Okay. Got that one too. <laughs> All right, how about one more for the split breach here? All right, three in a row. Okay. So let's take this the 5045 Navy carbine now. We'll take some of these. Okay. All right, one more here. Oops, those. Gotta grab the right ones. <laughs> All right, clean sweep. So these old carbines are a lot of fun to shoot. They really are. The uh, you know the split breech. If you notice how much shorter the barrel is, uh, you know these are clearly designed for for cavalry use, and the short barrel was uh, was what they wanted for horseback use. Well, the Navy didn't need that short barrel. A little bit longer barrel gave them a little bit more accuracy. That short barrel is a blast to shoot, and uh, at close range is pretty good. But trying to hit anything more than about 50 yards or so is pretty tricky with it. So uh, hey, these are a lot of fun. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed this. I enjoy taking these old guns out and shooting them and uh, doing what it takes to get them shooting again. Um, if you've got one of these, these, these Navy carbines, boy, let's show it. Let's take it out and show it to you. And I know the, um, the split breech carbines are pretty scarce. Not a lot of those around, but I'd love to see somebody else shooting one of those if you got one. So anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll have some other, other videos coming out soon. Take care.